Hi doctors. AGM Academia Grandiosa Medicini would like to present you a brand new test and discussion series, hallmark series, case discussion series, and mini lecture series. Inguinal region. Topographically and surgically important area, through where structures exit and enter the abdominal cavity and are potential sites of herniations. Myopectineal orifice of Fruchot. An egg-shaped region which is neither fully nor efficiently covered nor reinforced by muscle layers. It was named after French anatomist Henry Fruchot. Myopectineal orifice of Fruchot is bounded superiorly by arching fibers of the internal oblique and transversus abdominis. Inferiorly by pubic pectin and pectineal ligament. Medially by rectus abdominis muscle and sheath. And laterally by iliopsoas muscle. Inquinal ligament runs in the center, obliquely divides the egg-shaped orifice in two parts. Upper one is called inguinal interval, and lower one is called lacuna vasorum. Inguinal region is a triangular region bounded by the following. Inguinal ligament. Lateral margin of rectus abdominis. And horizontal line stretching from anterior superior iliac spine to lateral margin of rectus abdominis. Inquinal ligament, or Puppert's ligament, or fallopio's band is a derivative of external oblique aponeurosis, which extends from anterior superior iliac spine to pubic tubercle. It extends further medially to form lacunar ligament of Jim Burnett, then extends further posteriorly on pectineal line and continuous with the periosteum which is called pectineal ligament of Cooper. The medial border of the iliac fascia is connected with iliopectineal eminence and called iliopectineal arch or ligament, and divides all space between the inguinal ligament and hip bone into two parts, muscular lacuna and vascular lacuna. Conjoined tendon is fused aponeurosis of internal oblique and transversus abdominis that is inserted on pubic tubercle and superior ramus of the pubis. Inquinal canal is approximately 4 cm in length and located 2 to 4 cm above the inquinal ligament. It runs parallel to inquinal ligament between the opening of the superficial and deep inguinal rings. Walls of inquinal canal, anterior wall, formed by external oblique aponeurosis throughout the length of canal and lateral part is reinforced by internal oblique muscle. Posterior wall, formed by transverse fascia and medial part is reinforced by conjoined tendon. Roof is formed by arcing fibers of internal oblique and transverse abdominis muscles. Floor is formed by the upper surface of inguinal ligament. Contents of inguinal canal in males. Spermatic cord and ilia inguinal nerve in females. Round ligament of uterus and ilia inguinal nerve. Deep internal aspect of anterior abdominal wall. Peritoneum overlying the corresponding structures form folds in the internal aspect. Middle umbilical fold is formed by median umbilical ligament, which is a derivative of uracus. Medial umbilical fold is formed by medial umbilical ligament, which is a derivative of umbilical artery. Lateral umbilical fold is formed by inferior epigastric vessels. Fossa located between middle and medial umbilical folds is called supravesical fossa. Fossa located between medial and lateral umbilical folds is called medial inguinal fossa, corresponds to the superficial inguinal ring on the external surface. Fossa located lateral to lateral umbilical folds is called lateral inguinal fossa, corresponds to the deep inguinal ring. Triangle of Hesselbach, bounded by inguinal ligament inferiorly. Lateral border of rectus abdominis medially and inferior epigastric artery laterally. It is a weak spot in anterior abdominal wall through which direct hernia appears. Superficial inguinal ring. A gap in external oblique aponeurosis located 1 cm above and lateral to the pubic tubercle. Deep inguinal ring. Formed by transverse fascia located 1 to 3 cm above the mid inguinal point. Femoral ring. Located about 1.25 cm lateral to the pubic tubercle. Hernia is passage of peritoneal sac with or without abdominal contents through a site of congenital or acquired weakness in the abdominal wall consists of peritoneal sac, contents of the sac and the hernial ring. Inguinal hernia is most common on the right side. 
direct inguinal hernia. Hernia originates medial to inferior epigastric vessels through triangle of Hesselbach. Direct hernia never occurs in females and rarely gets strangulated. Indirect inguinal hernia originates lateral to inferior epigastric vessels and runs in inguinal canal and exits through superficial ring. Indirect inguinal hernia is the most type of hernia in females. Femoral hernia. Both inguinal hernia originate above inguinal ligament, but femoral hernia originates below the ligament through deep femoral ring. Femoral hernia is more common in females than males and most liable for strangulation because of narrow neck. I hope this high yield presentation is helpful. I would be expecting your suggestions and comments to improve our presentations. This is Dr. Harry and catch you with another exciting presentation next time. Thank you.